Hey Tech Heads, Fina here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special treat for you. I will be reviewing this portable EV charger that I received from EV Dance. It is an 11 kilowatt three phase charger and it has some awesome features. And if you watch the review and you like it, you can actually order your own with my link in the description and you can get 20% off with my code EVDCSEC. So that is pretty awesome. Let's check it out. Let's see what all it can do. There are some great features. For example, you can select your charging current all the way from six amps all the way to 16 amps, which is awesome. Not a lot of chargers offer that option. So let's check it out. Let's test it and see what all it can do. Okay, so before we begin unboxing, I wanna just point out the box a little bit because I actually have quite a lot of useful information on here. So this is a three phase 11 kilowatt 16 amp charger. So that's awesome. But I on here I have some adjustable current options which I wanted to highlight. So you can select either six amps, eight amps, 10 amps, 12 or the 16 amps. And I think that's pretty awesome because a lot of chargers actually don't offer the six amp or eight amp option. A lot of them start at the 10. So I think that's pretty cool that we have that option here. Some other information, we'll get, have the screen display, which is gonna show us, uh, you know, temperature, also work status, the electricity consumption. We have the real-time voltage, real-time current, and real-time power. So lots of useful information on there. Then we have the delay start timer. So if you're gonna be, let's say you're charging overnight, you just need to charge maybe for a couple hours or whatever it may be, you can start charging either in an hour all the way up to 12 hours later after you plug it in. So that's a great option to have. And then we just have the uh, LED status description here. This just kind of lets you know, you know, the status of your charging. So it's green, obviously when it's charged, uh, there's some other information on here. So I just wanted to point that out. Really like this box, lots of info on here. All right, now let's get to the unboxing. So let me open her up over here. All right, pull it out. We have a nice little bag for the charger. Gotta love that, right? Because anytime you're transporting it, it's really nice to have a handy bag to carry it in. So I love that, obviously. Now let's pull out the goodies. All righty. So this is the charger here. It's all nicely wrapped in bubble wrap so nothing's getting damaged or scratched along the way. That's excellent. Let's see, what do we have in here? It's gonna be my wall socket to uh, rest it on when I'm not using it. And the instruction manual, so I'm gonna be able to get all the information I have in here. So yeah, good, I love the, you know, love the presentation. I love the box that it has a lot of information. This is a nice bag, so I really appreciate that. And I also really appreciate how nicely it is wrapped for the shipping so that I know nothing's getting scratched or damaged along the way. So I'm gonna turn the camera off while I unwrap all of this because that wouldn't be very fun for you to watch. And then we're gonna get back and see all the features, see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, probably from the sped up uh, footage that I'm gonna put in there, that was uh, very well packed up. So it took me a minute to get in there, but that's good. That means that, you know, it's really uh, protected while it's in transit, so that's awesome. Okay, so just a few details before we get to charging. It is a 7.8 meter long charger. That's a quite a nice length. Of course, we have the charger itself. That's gonna go into my car here. Then I have the plug to plug that into the wall, plus a, uh, that's the charging box. I have a wall mount for that. So that's gonna be nice if you wanna, you know, if you have a permanent space that you wanna keep that wall mount, you can just slide that in every time. And I have a charger holder as well. So I'll be, you know, when I'm not using it, I can just slide it in here. And other way, my bad, <laughs> there we go. So I can, uh, push that up on my wall and just slide it in anytime I'm not using it. So pretty nice setup here. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in. I am actually at my uh, vacation house. My parking spot is a bit far from the electricity. Luckily, I do have a three phase extension cord that I can use and that has a CEE socket. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and plug her in here, nice and tight. There we go. 
All right, and let's check this out. Let's take a look at the display here. So this is actually a very nice display. Obviously I can see the temperature here. I can see the amps that I have here and I actually have selected six just to test it out. And that does stay put there in between plugins. So if you want to just be charging on six, it will stay, that setting will stay uh, between charger chargings, which is really nice. And if I want to go ahead and change the amps here, which I do want to do, I'm just going to hold it. And then once it highlights, well, let's do that one more time. <laughs> I'm just going to tap it, change my amps here, and I want to go to 16. So I'm going to do that and then just let it rest and it's going to set itself. That's great. If I wanted to do a delay start time, I could do that with this little clock here. I'm going to hold that and then select if I want to put it off. If I actually don't want to do that, I want to start it right now. So I'm going to go right back to zero. <laughs> Oops. Too excited. There we go. All right, good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down here. Now, good thing about this charger, it has an IP66, meaning I can let it be in the snow and it's not going to get damaged. I love that. Or if it, you know, say it start raining or something, it got a little wet, would not be a big deal. So that is excellent. Let's go plug her in. I'm going to see if it reaches. It's quite the little obstacle course here. But yep, looks like it will work just fine. So let's plug her in. Okay, it locked in there. So we are all set and it is starting to charge. We're gonna go back and take a look at that display. Okay, so I've been charging for about eight and a half minutes now, as you can see here, I'm still going at the 16 amps that I set and all three phases are at 16 amps. So that's nice. So far, I've charged 1.59 kilowatt hours, but I can see it jumping up pretty regularly. So hopefully it will be pretty quick here. And then let's just take a look down here. This green light lets me know, obviously, that I'm charging. So that's a nice little status check. Okay, so now I just want to show you the inside uh, the inside of my car. I'm charging my Megan E-Tech and I have a 60 kilowatt hours of usable battery. So as you can see right now, I have about for about four hours until I'm 95% charged. I like to have that 95% setting just to, uh, you know, give my battery a little break and keep it in good health. Okay, so while we're charging, I just want to check out the uh, instruction manual here, see what kind of information I have. So this is the model EV ACS 1602PE. That's good to know. We have some warnings here, you know, don't connect the charger to a power outlet that's not properly grounded. So we have all your standard warnings. Some product specs that we've gone over, we have the 400 watt AC three phase voltage. We have the current power plug and all of that kind of stuff. Product overview. Um, oh, I did want to point out at the beginning, which I forgot to mention, but we have uh, four different language descriptions here. So I can do English, German, French, or Spanish. So that's handy, you know, you can uh, choose your own adventure. That's good. We have some instruction here. The display is adjust, uh, the display is rather uh, broken down so you can see what kind of information you will be looking at here. We have instructions on how to adjust the charging current, how to set your delay start timer, how to stop charging when you are finished. And then we have the LED status descriptors. So I showed you when I'm charging, that thing is lit up green. If you're just connected and pre uh, presumably you have it delay charged, it's going to be a blue light. And then if there is some kind of issue, either just a general mistake or fault, then it's going to be a red light. So that is pretty self-explanatory. And we have some suggested solutions here should the red light be flashing. So yeah, pretty nice little instruction manual, you know, pretty standard. So good stuff. All right, guys, so I'm all done here. I have it all nice and wrapped up. There's two little straps to, you know, keep the wrapping neat. And uh, before I put it up, I did want to just take a moment just to appreciate how nicely done this connector is. I think it's really nice workmanship, real honest work. Looks really good. So just wanted to point that out real quick because, you know, I just really appreciate that. I'm going to pack it up here, which is a little bit challenging when I have nothing to put it down on, of course, but that's okay. I like a little challenge and get it in here. 
Now, one more thing I did want to point out is how nice this carrying bag is. That is really made out of nice material, has nice thick walls, nicely padded. So that is excellent. I do want to say thank you again to EV Dance for sending over this charger and letting me test it. It's wonderful. You guys, if you like it, make sure you check out that link in the description and also use my code to get that 20% off. Thank you all for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I can provide more details. I'll definitely see you in the comments. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day and I will catch you next time.